Hey beloved, Krista Pettiford here. In today's video, I am sharing a prophetic word for God's daughters. If you have a calling from God and you know that you have a calling, but you feel like this last season you were either, it feels like your calling was delayed, what God called you to do was delayed, it feels like you were derailed or detoured for some reason, then this prophetic word is for you. Before I get into this prophetic word about your calling, I just want to say and make clear that your calling is more than the work you do. I define your calling biblically as um, the purpose for which God called you and saved you. Your calling is actually an invitation from God to do more than works. In the world, your calling is a vocation, but in Christ, it is an invitation from God to uh, have a relationship with him a personal, intimate relationship with him to become who he's called you to be, to do the good works he calls you to do, and to live the abundant life he's planned for you. The thing about our works is that they can and do change as our seasons change. Our gifts, the gifts that God gives us and the call for which he called us, the purpose and the expected end for which he called us remains the same. But our assignments and how we live out our calling or do the good works and even our life changes season by season. And so I know that for me, my calling, uh, it seemed like it was on hold. And I want you to know before I get into this prophetic word that, uh, Whatever derailed you, distracted you, gave you a detour, or you feel like you've been delayed or even possibly denied because of something, or you feel like you don't measure up or you don't qualify, the season that we feel like we've been put on hold or we've been put on a shelf, God is restoring us. He works best in our darkest seasons. He does not have to work in the dark. He can work in the light and he loves the light, but the darkness and the light are the same to him. And in our dark and in our night season, he recalls, he firms us up and he, he brings to remembrance what he spoke to us and he um, fixes or restores things in us. He restores our souls. He gives us a season of rest. And then as we wait patiently for the Lord, we renew our strength. And as we renew our strength, he's preparing us when he says so to do what he's called us to do at the set time. And so God said to me to tell his daughters to get back to it, to get back in the race, to get back in the fight, to follow him forward, and to know that your calling most often does not look like you thought it would. The works that God called you to do doesn't happen in a glamorous way or a way that you thought it was something that it's beautiful, but it's messy, right? And there's trials and testings and things like that. And there's delays and there's stepping out on faith and walking on the proverbial water, walking on water and and almost thinking and having to call Jesus <laughs> to pick you up so that you don't drown. There's all kind of things. But we, even when we feel like we're failing, we fail forward. Even when we walk out on faith and something doesn't work or there's a delay or a denial or something or a closed door, don't uh, give up. Take this season that God has given you to rest and renew your strength. Allow God to renew your strength so that you can move forward, so that you can follow God forward. Even when we go through trials, testing, loss, and things don't turn out the way that we thought they would, God wants us to continue to follow him forward, to continue to use our gifts, our talents, and abilities that he has bestowed on us for his kingdom, for his good. Um, he wants us to continue to share our testimony so that we can help other women who are going through what we've been through, walk them through it and help them find their way forward. And what I'll say about me and my testimony of in the prophetic, 
is not only is this a prophetic word for God's daughters, but God called me um, to the prophetic. That was my first ministry, prayer, prophetic, and then preaching um, at my former church where I was a member for 22 years. Uh, the Lord allowed my pastor to allow him to raise me up and allow those gifts, those fivefold gifts to be birthed and realized and matured in me. And as I transitioned this season, I felt like, you know, there were so many derailment, uh, distraction, you name it, detours. So maybe this word is for me, but I wouldn't share it if I didn't think it was for other women also. And so as things change, becoming an empty nester, all the things, it felt like these last three or four years, I was on a pause. Um, and now God has caught me back to the ministry. And really in this last year or so, um, I stopped sharing prophetic words and prophetic ministry um, and encouragement on this channel so much because I saw so much um, um, I saw so much corruption in the prophetic, so much misinformation, uh, so many people that were prophet lying as I like to call it. But you know what? There is a, there are a lot of good people who are hearing from God, who are being led by the Spirit of God that are releasing the prophetic, even when sometimes it, they might miss it, it's coming from a right spirit. But there are those who are even deeper who are not releasing anything that they don't know is from the Lord. And so um Besides that, the Lord said, you go back to what I called you to do. Yes, I've called you to uh, teach the word, but your primary ministry is prophetic ministry and prayer, intercessory prayer in my presence, being in my presence in prayer, ministering unto me and bringing forth the prophetic and preaching the word. And I had kind of... Uh, that well, maybe I'll just do something else. I'll settle. I'll go another way because there's just it has such a stain on it. But it really doesn't. There are people who are giving it a bad name, but there are people who are giving that prophetic ministry a good name. And even if they were, it doesn't matter because God has called me to it. And so He called me back to the prophetic, but He also called me back to host the called conference, which I had been hosting since I believe 2017 or 18. And I, the last one I hosted was in 2021 and it's coming back in 2025. So I'm excited to announce that. And I will leave a link if you're in the San Diego area or you want to come visit and join me for a day of called conference. I'm excited about that. But when I was going through my season, I laid that down and I said, God, if you don't want me to do it, you know, I thought, you know, um, it was growing so big and then it started to get small, but I was distracted trying to do things um, that, I, that I saw other women doing in their conferences, trying to do things um, that I thought would make it better instead of just doing what God called me to do and staying in my lane. And so I want to encourage you, if you've been derailed, if you think things are not working, don't look at all the other places. Go back to God. Go back to what he called you to do at the first. Go back to his last instruction to you. And it doesn't matter how big or small it is. If you're doing what God called you to do, then it is a success. And I had to remind myself of that, that I had gotten distracted and that led to derailment of, you know, oh, maybe I'll do this, maybe I'll do that. But that's not my style. My style is not a nice little sermonette. My style is preaching the word, uh, uh, prophesying and mixing the teaching of the word of God. And so I had to be okay with that. I had to understand that, um, this is who God called me to be and other women need me to show up authentically so that they can walk in their calling as who God called them to be. And so I just want to encourage you, um, do not hold back, but press in and follow God forward. And it may not look like you thought it would. It may not look like the success of the world. And, and another thing, don't measure your success by other people and don't measure yourself don't compare yourself to other people because when we do that, we get distracted from what God has called us to do. And so a season, in a season when I was feeling very doubtful about 
what I was supposed to be doing and what God was doing in my life. The enemy could come in and add, say a lot of things and add a lot of words and make me begin to question my calling question if God had still called me or, you know, maybe I should just do something else. But God has said, no, I've called you to this and this is what I want you to do. I want you to finish your race and I want you to press in. And, and again, we go through testings and trials, but God is saying there are some of you out there who have given up who have a dream, a vision from God, a promise from God. He called you to do something within your full, the fullness of your calling, relationship, identity, and living the abundant life. But there's something God has called you to do to reach other women, to reach other people. And you all have given up and God says, I want you to come back to that. I want you to do it my way and to submit to me and submit what you have. Not your will, but my will be done. Not your way, but my way be done. And the time that you have lost has not been wasted. But take the lessons. Take what God was showing you. Take the lessons from that season and carry them forward into your future. Take the beauty from what you've learned, the rest, the peace, what you've come to know to be true about God, what you've learned about yourself, what you've learned about ministry, <laughs> that apart from him, we can do nothing or otherwise they're just dead works. What have you learned about the ministry? What have you learned about God? What have you learned about yourself? And carry that in humbly into your future and what God is calling you to do. And I believe that he's going to bless women while there are people who are um, watering down the gospel. There's a people, there's a women, there, there are children of God who are hungry, who need the gospel preached, who need a true prophetic word, who need the ministry of the Holy Spirit, who need um, a word from God. They need to be taught and they need to be ministered to. And God is calling his daughters to come back into the fullness of their calling. So that, and if this is not for you and you haven't had a derailment, share it with somebody you know who needs it. But if this is for you, if you've been distracted, delayed, derailed, denied, then I bless you with this word. And I pray that I have encouraged you. Let me know in the comments um, that this word spoke to you and what it is that God has called you to do and how I can pray for you. I want to hear from you in the comments. God bless you. Until next time.